I've harped on the fact recently, if you just watch my like reels and you do my live streams, that I don't think you should be making your own Anki from Cubic. This has nothing to do with Melman Anki. I'm saying when you're going through questions, don't take notes, don't make your own Anki. You say, well, how am I going to remember things? You're not supposed to remember everything. So the, the notion that you're going to remember like 90% of what you read, that's not the process for most people. You're going to re remember maybe 20, 25%, but the high yield stuff you're going to see repeatedly. And then those small chunks will agglomerate and you'll remember enough for your exam. Okay, so don't worry about making your own annotations or Anki, it's overrated. And here's another point, guys, I want you to understand. This is important, okay? The notes that you take from, if you take notes or make Anki, the notes or Anki that you make from QBank, as your knowledge base increases, you're gonna look back at those notes and like kind of like laugh. You're gonna be like, why did I think that that was hard? I know this because when I studied for step one back in 2012, I made my annotations in different colors based on when in my prep I was. And like the annotations I made throughout were like ridiculous by the end. Things were either like hyper, hyper easy. And I'm like, I can't believe I had to annotate that. Or they were like highly nitpicky and pedantic details that were just like completely off mark.